Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namaste so, this time of year, as I've spoken before, is about reviewing the past year and then looking forward and creating a foundation for the next year. This is a natural cycle that happens annually due to the motion of the sun. When the sun is in its southernmost travel, the uh, Dakshinayaka, that's time to review the past, plant seeds for the future. And who was it? Some internet wag said, <laughs> the best way to predict the future is to create it. So instead of worrying about the future, our plan is to get busy creating a new future, a new outlook a new way of doing things based on the best knowledge and the best techniques that we have. Now, what's driving this? Astrologically, I am entering the final phase of Sade Sati. Sade Sati is when Saturn transits your moon. When the motion of Saturn brings it over your natal moon. So Saturn is about to move from Capricorn into Aquarius in the middle of January next year. And between now and then is going to be what's called Vargotama, or in the final degrees of Capricorn and about to make the transition. So this is going to be a period of great confusion, not just for me, but for everybody. There are going to be a lot of Unclarity, doubts, fears, confusions. Uh, everything is going to seem kind of up in the air. These kind of vague doubts that do we really know what we're doing here? And uh, I've seen this not only in my own life, but in the lives of the people close to me. And so... Uh, it's definitely a thing. <laughs> it's definitely happening. So what are we doing? Well, we are going to rebrand this site. It's going to become Noli. And Noli, the word, the way it's spelled, is deliberate. It is a, an indication of Gnostic awakening, Gnostic realization, or intuitive knowledge of the Absolute. This, of course, is Brahman. And those of you who have been on this ride, <laughs> following this channel for a long time, know that we've been presenting about Brahman, especially in the last few months, from the Mandukya Upanishad. This is the highest knowledge. There is no knowledge beyond this. Krishna speaks of it in Bhagavad Gita when he says, you should have that knowledge knowing which there is nothing further to be known. Once you have that knowledge, you know everything. Sarvagnya. So, now that we know everything, <laughs> and have realized it, it's time to open up this portal to the whole world and share this knowledge on a bigger scale. This channel is tiny. I mean, by YouTube standards, it's just insignificant. But uh, that's because we have chosen to focus on the most esoteric knowledge and on the old books, the old sources 
that reveal this knowledge. And so we're going to rebrand and reposition this channel to reach a much broader audience. How broad? Well, everybody. <laughs> everybody is conscious and consciousness. Consciousness is like the first fact of life. Without consciousness, there is nothing else. Yet, how many of us can say that we understand or have mastered consciousness? Very, very few. Yet, this mastery of consciousness is the thing that makes us happy. So, without mastery of consciousness, we're always subject to different forms of unhappiness and distress. Therefore, the best way to approach uh, giving this gift to everyone is to make it about happiness. Now, of course, happiness is an overused term and it's not very well defined, so we're going to define it as mastery of consciousness. And this is going to be the theme of this site in the future. And it's also going to be an online course that everyone can take to gain the skills needed to create happiness for oneself. Now, it's interesting. We just looked into artificial intelligence, this new chat GPT thing and uh, GPT-3 and whatever. And after investigating it fully because of its potential in helping us present this knowledge, we came to the conclusion that it's inappropriate. Why? Because a living person, a living being, someone with heart is required to present this knowledge adequately. A machine can't do it. It's not within the realm. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can have a, a robot up on the screen, huh? A, a very attractive woman or whatever, and talk about this knowledge. But it's artificial. It's flat. It has no humanity behind it. And we can feel that. So we decided in designing the product that we're going to make for next year that artificial intelligence is not appropriate. Because why? It's another Maya. It's another illusion. And we're already in illusion. <laughs> So we don't need to add more illusion. We need to take the illusion away and see the reality. So it's better that we have just continue making the videos the way we've been, but putting them in a structure, in a context that is more easily approachable and understandable by public in general. Now, because the current time and for the next two and a half years or so is being driven by Saturn going through my 12th house. Things are going to move slowly. They have to. That is Saturn's way. Saturn teaches not by precept, but by experience. So there are going to be a lot of challenges there are going to be a lot of problems that we have to solve and not run away from. But by doing so, we will not only uh, enrich our own experience of life, but we'll also give valuable lessons that other people can take advantage of, solve the problems in their own lives. So this is going to be an ongoing thing for at least the next two and a half years. Maybe if I la live that long <laughs> for the next five years, as Saturn goes through my first house as well. 
So this is a big opportunity to expand our influence, increase our responsibilities, uh, grow this channel to a much bigger uh, audience, and we're going to need your help. You can post our videos on social media and raise awareness of the issues that we bring up. Uh, don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Uh, nobody is going to attack you. Because this subject of consciousness is absolutely essential for happiness in life. No fancy computer software is going to help us realize consciousness. We have to follow the old ways. The old ways work. They're slow, they're methodical, step by step, but they work because human nature does not change quickly. Maybe the technology does, but the basic human nature is always the same. And even if human nature does change, it's still always going to be based on consciousness. <laughs> so knowledge and mastery of consciousness is the key to basically everything else. That's why we're going to concentrate on consciousness. And Noli and knowledge with a G are going to become, we hope, household words uh, recognized and understood by everybody. And also understood will be the meaning that these refer to the science of consciousness. Now, we don't want to restrict our view to only the Vedas, because after all, a lot of people have faith in different visions or dreams or metaphors or symbols that represent consciousness and the absolute different forms of God, different faiths, different philosophies. So we want to reach out to all these people and be inclusive in our view, not exclusive as we have been often in the past. We want to include everybody and make everybody feel welcome, at home, safe, understood, and supported. So we are going to be listening. We want to hear from you about your experience with these truths, the truths which are expressed in Mandukya Upanishad as we've been going over the last few months, but which are actually universal and affect everybody, no matter whether they're aware of Vedas and Upanishads or they're involved with some other form of knowledge and expression of the same spiritual truths. So we want to hear from you. And when the new site and the new program begin, we want to get feedback from you. We want you to become an alpha tester or a beta tester of our new courses and help us understand how they're being effective, and if not, what the problem is, how we can fix it. So your help, your participation is going to be very important to the future of this channel, to the future of our work in helping people all over the world attain true happiness and complete spiritual knowledge. Aum Tat Sat. Aum Shakti Aum. Aum Namah Shivaya.